The tsunami transformed Japan's fishing mecca into the world's biggest ship graveyard. Thousands of boats, from ocean vessels to light skiffs, washed ashore where they remained stranded. Marooned and useless, the vessels tower dangerously where stores and homes once stood. One of my employees watched the ship move right down our street, and there it has stayed after the waters receded. The beach ships are just another obstacle for this decimated town where the fishing industry supports eight out of ten workers. Town Mayor Shigeru Sugawara is frustrated. The ships are standing in the way of fixing our roads and disposing of debris. Also, these ships are extremely important to us economically. We need to get as many ships as possible back in the water. The giant waves that wash ships inland have left the area literally drowning in all kinds of debris. There just isn't enough room to dump it all. Tens of millions of tons of debris, pieces of wood, twisted metal, broken machinery, showing how little progress has been made since the tsunami brought these 140-ton ships to rest on the streets of downtown Kesanuma. In this prefecture alone, mountains of tires, refrigerators, and household belongings are so vast they add up to 23 years' worth of garbage. We're telling people the cleanup will take three years. But to tell the truth, we have no idea how much manpower and machinery this will require. The gargantuan cleanup has also been slowed because soldiers must sift through every inch of debris in hopes of finding more of the over 10,000 victims still missing. A tsunami that lasted minutes will take an estimated 10 years to recover from. Lucy Kraft, CBS News, Kesanuma, Japan.